you. This is for you ladies out there who like a bargain. And this is called buy one, get one, free girls. Hello, I'm Charlie and welcome to another episode of the Time Traveller Diaries. Now today we're going to be visiting the filming locations for the series Pistol which was released in 2022. It was directed by Danny Boyle who's also directed films such as The Beach and Slumdog Millionaire. Pistol focuses on the 1970s punk rock band The Sex Pistols with cast members including Anson Boone as Johnny Rotten, Louis Partridge as Sid Vicious Toby Wallace as Mick Jones and Jacob Slater as Paul Cook. Now, I won't go into what happens in Pistol too much as I'm not really a fan of giving away spoilers. So without further ado, let's get to the locations. Now this is Deal Kent and we're on the seafront here and it was here where the Sex Pistols tour bus, the Nowhere bus, was situated as you can see in this shot here. Now if you look in the back of the photograph, on the left hand side you can see Deal Pier and this lamp post over there. Now on board the bus were several cast members including Anson Boone, uh, Louis Partridge, Toby Wallace, Jacob Slater and Emma Appleton who played Nancy Spungen. Now they were on this bus because they were going round to play at a gig called Ivanhoe's which is where we're going now. Now this building behind me is the Royal Arcade. We're on King Street in Deal, Kent, England. And it was this arcade that was transformed into the music venue Ivanhoe's. Now the real Ivanhoe's was actually in Huddersfield. And I'll put some shots on the screen of the real Sex Pistols performing in the real Ivanhoe's. They played here on Christmas Day 1977, which was a charity gig for the children of striking firemen. Now I'll put another shot on the screen from the side where you can see firemen congregating around the front, which also lines up with the 1970s fire engines on Deal Seafront. Now here's another quick shot of the arcade. If you see that sign box over there, which says Deal Beach Parlour, for, for Pistol that contained posters of a show for Aladdin and also various Sex Pistols posters. Now this is the charity shop Bernardo's behind me. And for Pistol, it didn't get any glamorous treatment. It was simply covered up with metal sheets to give it more of a raw, working class, urban feel. Now we're still on King Street. Now look at these two buildings behind me. There's Margaritas, which sells pizzas and paninis. And to the right of that, you have the Star of India, the Indian takeaway. But for Pistol, they were transformed into two shops. Margaritas became Choi and Sun Laundry, and the Star of India became a lady's hairdresser's called La Vogue. Now this building behind me is the Just Reproach, which is a micropub. Now for Pistol it was transformed into a grocer's owned by El Grumbar. Now if you look in the windows of it, you can see advertisements for soft drinks such as Vimto, R. Whites and Corona. Now as you can see, this is Peckish, which is a chicken takeaway. Now for Pistol, it didn't get its name changed. It actually was managed to keep the name Peckish. Now I'll put the shot up on the screen and you can see the comparisons. Now continuing on King Street, as you can see, this is the adult gaming center. But for Pistol, it was transformed into the pigeon racing shop, a betting shop. Now I'm going to put up on the screen a shot of actor Anson Boone who played Johnny Rotten. He's standing in this area here and if you look closely you can see this pole behind his head. And also notice these three vertical lines going down and for Pistol they were kind of painted a kind of like a, an orangey gold kind of colour. There were several beams sticking out here and you can notice these if you line up the shot. 
Now, now I'm going to show you a shot of actor Louis Partridge, who played Sid Vicious, walking along this street. Now, if you notice behind him, there is this drain here in the background. And also, also notice these four beams going down. One, two, three, four. And they all had the horizontal stripes going down. If you notice, all of these windows were completely removed and covered over in the shot. We're now in a car park at the back of the Royal Arcade which was transformed into Ivanhoe's. Now in this shot you can see a 1970s food van which sold hot pies, pop, tea and crisps. Now this is Deal Seafront in Deal Kent, England. If you notice Deal Pier in the background there. Now I'm about to put some stills from a scene from Pistol on the screen in which the actors who played Steve Jones and Glenn Matlock were playfully wrestling on the shingle and notice how the background buildings were strategically blurred and they were being watched by Johnny Rotten who was eating some chips. Well that brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page and check out the other videos we've done. They may be of some interest. So we'll see you next time on the Time Traveller Diaries.